I volunteered to work at an orphanage. This is in Yani? In Syria. Yeah, that's not good. Syria. This is good news. good news, and we are so fashioned. I'm sure Case against Tabi against Umnumzano Shop, yes? Yes, that is correct. And you are aware of the nightmare that she went through? I am aware of every step of the investigation, yes. Ogotatin Kanto Log on a bus ride from point of boarding to point of a departure. Just explaining uh, a process investigation here. 
Um, so, Miss Malika came to the station to come lay a charge of rape against Mr. Chope. And we then brought Mr. Chope into the station for further questioning. He denied the accusation. From there, we then went to collect footage from the night in question from the opera bar. And it showed Mr. Chope and uh, Miss Malika disappearing off together to the restroom. When they later returned to the main floor of the opera bar, uh, they arrived separately and Miss Malika appeared to be very upset. It was a, a classic case of uh, date rape cases. After the questioning, he was released. Why? Miss Malika claimed that Mr. Chope was harassing her. And again, we then went to the footage from the night in question, and indeed, Mr. Chope was harassing her even when she was on a date. We even have witnesses that can attest to that. The court still granted Section 174 of the Criminal Procedure Act. Yes. I mean, these are grounds enough for the arrest. Uh... Uh, but um, Miss Malika's version of events uh, later changed. She then claimed that she got raped in the Chope home, but we could not prove that because one, she did not show up for the uh, rape kit, and two, the J88 form was incomplete. When we tried to bring her in for further questioning, she tried to flee. This then meant that the disclosure we shared with Mr. Chope's attorney proved that our case had no merit. So Mr. Chope had to be discharged. Really, I don't blame him, honestly, after everything I've done. So it's only fair. Yeah. This is nice. Mm -hmm. My brother taking me out for lunch. I mean, you know, of course. I need to have very limited time. And when you're going to win Syria or what? It is. Um, you know, and I just realized I want to do something good, Mbile. Mm -hmm. Have some kind of a positive impact. You know, as in Lila I know, I, I get you, completely get you. Oh, look, I got you something. Yeah, I was wondering what is in my little black box over there. So this is a young gift from the heart to you. Really? As... Uh-huh. And this is beautiful. Look, 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 look in there. Pick up, pick up my details up right there. Beautiful. Hi, but and this Evan's initials. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, but Since when you are traveling all the way to other countries and whatsoever, you're traveling. I really with us. appreciate that. Yeah. Uh but, uh and I'm sorry, I have to go. I just remember something. It's uh, 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 yes. I haven't even ordered yet. I'm sorry, can I take a rain check? I'll buy ice cream, I promise. Next time it's gonna be on me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna call you back, okay? I'll see you now. No, 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 no. I'm not going to marry you. Did you know that I'm going to marry you? I'm not going to marry you. Why are you supporting me? Why are you going to take care of me? I'm not going to marry you. Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take care of me? Why are you going to take Yeah, 2023 has to be even better than last year for the Yeah, bye.
house. Where were you lunching? Yeah, I've been going to the and then you still need to leave for something. I need to make sure you're right. Wow. Oh, I was with Trilly and I paid him to for a minute and I'm sensing a bomb. That's exactly what I'm here for, ma. Thank you. Um, actually, ma, when you come and have a bath, yes, the um, message of Joyful, um, she approached me the other day. One the logos have smuggled diamonds out of Kanisa for her. He in the don't jail you. I know, ma. She just threatened me with him out and quint. She'll say that was my idea and that I did it. Venga is gonna be the lizard. Hey, Mr. Your Worship, we have subpoenaed two witnesses who are ready to testify and expose the malicious intent that was behind Ms. Ntabi Singh Malega's accusations. They fell victim of Ms. Malega's charm, and they found themselves in a position where if she were to demand money from them at any time, and they were unable to provide her with that, they would find themselves in jail paying for a crime that they did not commit. Dear Your Worship, the prosecution would like to call David Masango. Mentioning, <laughs> 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 Because Nalego this thing is not the French what what la monsa di beke ona ba nunya kai one. My bra, your fro is a mistake. Maybe you nalego what dressing is wrong or whatever. Or na rite next saga di beke tse one. Oh, oh, that's too bad, Kare. Ne ke ba tla di kala di tri.
I had seen in Tavi in some of my lectures. So when we ended up chatting at my friend's party, I was happy. You were attracted to her? Yes. Was she attracted to you? Well, it seems so. I mean, she still wanted to hang out after the party at around 2 o'clock in the morning. So I invited her to my place. And what happened when you got to your place? We had sex. Lots of sex. Was it consensual? Yes. I thought it was the beginning of a relationship. But after we had sex, Ntabi asked me for 5,000 rands. I, I, I was surprised. I thought it was a joke, but the girl was damn serious. I didn't give it to her. And uh, what did she do when you refused to pay her the money? She threatened me, said if I didn't give her the money, she'll go to my department head and the police to lay charge of rape against me. But still I refused. Less than 15 minutes after she left my rest, I was called into the dean's office. And did she proceed to lay a charge of rape? No. After I'd received the call from the dean, I, I called my parents and got the 5K. I gave him the money, but I was still expelled from the varsity, even though she did not press any charges against me. Your Worship, uh, we do not have questions for this witness. Your Worship, the state calls Huluso Rangu. Stop, stop, please, stop, Your Honor. Please. I lied, Your Honor. Mlilo Shopi did not rape me. I lied about everything. So you admit that all your claims against Mlilo Oklope are false? Yes. He did not rape you, did not sexually assault you? No, he did not. <laughs> Order, Miss Malik, why would you make allegations like this against Mr. Oklope? He humiliated me. How, how did you do that? When I said that he should pay the 30K, he refused. Everyone knows that he's rich, he can afford it. I know. So, you asked 30,000 from him. For what? He had sex with me. The money was in exchange for sex. Yes. That's how things work. Batong, Mahala. Relationships are business deals, come on! Yes, but in business deals, all the relevant parties are aware of what's been set out beforehand. Had you advised Mr. Klope that money was required in exchange for sex? No, but he should have known. John. When he refused to pay me the money, I wanted to teach him a lesson. That he's not better than me. Just because he's got, he's got money and he's rich and he lives in a mansion. Okay? And then this case just got bigger and bigger. Okay, okay. I think we have heard enough. Hey, we will concede. Ah. Say, please sit down. Ah. 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 Ah.